Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to the first video featuring the brand new DLC, actually the DLC that will be released tomorrow, uh, of the uh, LGV Méditerranée Marcel Avignon route add-on, which features here this S200 duplex TGV. Um, yeah, we're gonna learn how to drive this thing now. Take a seat in the driver's position, because this is where you'll be spending most of your time. Yeah, so they say. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Welcome, everybody. Hope you guys have a great day and you're ready to begin to, uh, to press ride the service with me retention cancel button. on this. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. Why am I... However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, you have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. Yeah, then let's prime. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and you're ready to join me to here. Activate the control desk, set the master switch to active. Can you believe it? Um, active. Now activate the pantograph using the normal and DC positions on the different rotary switches so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. Uh, normal DC and normal. The DC setting should be used in the area of Marseille. Marseille, yeah. Okay. The LGV setting should be used outside of Marseille. Hmm. All right. And the AC setting is used in other AC overhead line areas. Yeah, which we won't cover today, I don't think. The circuit breaker will need... There. What do we now have here? Now that the circuit breaker has been set, it will need to be armed. Use the... Now it's armed. Lighting is automatically set when enabling the master switch. Oh, but wow. make sure you use the low beam lights when passing other trains so as not to blind oncoming drivers. Yeah, yeah, of course. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Is there a button to unlock the doors, I wonder? Uh... Well, there might be, but unfortunately... Active... Oh, here! People that can read are definitely, definitely an advantage here. Uh, okay. Uh, Next, you need to do the brake test. This okay. ensures that all the brakes are working correctly before you set off. Mm -hmm. First, press the brake hold button to hold the lead power car brakes into their current state so that you don't roll away. Done. And now press the emergency brake button. You're Done. Use the brake neutral switch to disable the brake lever, which will display the blue light. Done. Done. You can now re-engage the brake control by using the brake neutral switch and can... Now that you've tested the emergency brake, you'll test normal brake operations. Wow. This is an airplane then or what is this? the train brake in the release position to raise the brake pipe to 5 bar. Hold the train brake control in apply until the brake pipe reads around 4 bar. And that's the brake system fully tested. Well, there you go. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. There are three driving modes on the TGV. Coupling and uncoupling. The speed is limited in this mode and is intended for coupling maneuvers. Okay. Manual control. This is usual mode for driving on classic lines. Okay. And selected speed. This uses the speed selector control and is used by the driver on high speed lines to set the maximum cruise speed. Ah. To get started now, select the manual control mode as you are on the classic lines. Reverse this forward. Set the driving. Oh. Wow, this is this is very um 
Yeah, it's a very it's, time to get it's going. a high speed train, but it's up. very hands on. Like it's crazy. Close that. Okay. There we go. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Aix-en-Provence. Okay. Aix-en-Provence. Finally, press the brake hold button and you should see the yellow light go out and hold the the train is now ready to part, so... 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, you know what? Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Here we go. Coasting is a method used to efficiently make. Keeping to the speed limit is important. If you begin to overspeed, hold the brake lever into the apply position to slow down. I don't need to put the thing into apply position. We can just do this. That works just as well. Yeehaw! Yeah, the sound, I don't know, because I don't know enough about the TGV. Uh, I know a couple of things about the TGV, just, well, the, the general stuff, right? That it holds all kinds of speed records and so on and so forth. Was the fastest train in the world for a long time. Until the bullet trains came along. And that is definitely green right there. Okay. Do you believe speed is now up to... S it's going to be coming up to 60 here right away. Which also gives us a good idea of how the signal or the signage looks. 861, whatever that means. Okay. Well, apparently we can speed up. To what is it? 60, yeah. I haven't seen a speed sign though, which is annoying because I really would like to drive without the overhead panel. Or without the overhead uh, view. It's interesting, because of this game, you're gonna learn all kinds of different uh, rule sets. From British, to German, to American, to now French. That's pretty darn cool, as far as I'm concerned, because every day that you learn is a good day. I'm just tr uh oh okay. <laughs> I was there for a second, I was like, oh that that is not good. The meeting of the Titans, if you will. Okay, was that hundred Yeah, I have not seen any kind of speed restriction come up. What is all this? Let's see here. It's a wiper. Brake neutral. Wow, this thing is clear light. ABV test. ABV pass danger. Shunt. Hmm. We are good for 100 and... 40. Now.
Uh, I should maybe look what I'm doing here, but... So are we already out of the uh, Marseille area out? I wonder, probably not, because this is still looking like city. How do you like the sounds? I like the sounds. Sounds quick. Approaching the voltage changeover area, oh, here we go. and need to change the voltage on the train in order to continue. You'll do this without stopping the train. Oh, that's good. Open and then close the circuit breaker. Lower the pantograph by moving the switch to the lower position. What? Change the pantograph mode switch to LGV. Okay. Wow, that is... <laughs> Whoa, I did not expect that. So how will we know that we are approaching this without the overhead display? I have to pay really close attention now. Thinking there's probably so. Oh, okay. See, the, the, now it goes downstairs. Uh, downstairs. Downgrade. Downstairs. <laughs> ah, okay. When your cab passes the REV board, this means that the rear of your train has passed the voltage changeover area and you can raise the pantograph. Do this now by switching the selector switch. Normal. When the arm breaker symbol illuminates, rearm the circuit breaker. This means you can now increase power up to the indicated speed on the TVM display. Nicely done. You're in good shape to continue the journey. Well, here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. 300. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah! Seventy. Okay, this is a pretty darn cool train. I can, uh, well, <laughs> so I basically don't have to do anything right now. I just rock and roll that thing. Isn't there driving mode manual control? Select speed. Oh, I guess we're just gonna go at the moment with the uh, manual. Oh, I can only go 200. Oh, We never made it to 300, unfortunately. You're now approaching Aix-en-Provence. So apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Well. 
I really do like this train, though. Here we are, arriving at the station. Oh boy. Will we be coming to a stop though? Now keep in mind, this is my very first time slowing this train down, so I have no idea how long it actually takes to slow it down. This is all just guessing on my part. There you go. Okay. Now what? Unlock the doors. I know now how to do that. What a beautiful train. Love it. Well, friends, I think this is probably going to be the end of that run, if I would have to guess. I might be wrong. If not, then we'll see. Locking the doors. Just like that. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Awesome. Well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Now, I never got to the to, to the 300 like I wanted. But hey, we got gold. So there's that. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I do hope you will click the like button. And I also do hope that you will leave me a comment down below. What do you think about this so far? Again, this is available starting tomorrow on uh, Steam. I will, and also, of course, on the Dovetail webpage. I will have a link to the Steam shop down in the description below. Until next time, this is the Northern Alex signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.